Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark Individual. Welcome back to Elex. So, um, in the interim since the last episode, I did a lot of running around just exploring stuff because since that tends to be something that ends up consuming a lot of my time uh, in a lot of these episodes, I wanted to do some of that off screen just to um, spare a, a couple episodes of that and actually get something uh, constructive done for a change. Um, so while I was running around, the main thing I uh, was trying to do was get this uh, ability, a skill, I think it's under survival, no, uh, it's just called attribute points, and literally all it does is give you 10 attribute points to invest, and I did that so that way I could use the cultivator's bow, or the hunter's bow, uh, the improved bow, and uh, that's been quite nice, but um, in a lot of the other running around, I also stumbled across a character. Um, I meant to get him on recording, uh, but when I stumbled across him, I thought he was actually one of the traveling merchants, so I initiated the conversation before I realized exactly who it was. Um, it's nothing really that important, but he kind of has like a Vatras kind of dialogue where he studies who you are, engages your responses to try and tell if you're lying. Um, it doesn't seem that significant, but he offers a uh, trip to Ignadon with us, but that seems insignificant seeing as we already have the teleporter platform to get there. Um, I'm going to make my way there in due time. It's just I don't like leaving so many areas like unexplored uh, before moving on to the next one, which I end up doing with a Bessa anyway, and that's kind of why we're back here. But um, apart from that, what else did I do? Um, Clearly you don't. I, I think there was something else Have you joined I had done. God, I actually can't believe I don't remember because I only did this like an hour ago. But uh, regardless, uh, the most important thing that happened was uh, while I was running around, um, Ray actually got stuck on some terrain. And I had to... Uh, well, he didn't really get stuck on some terrain. I went into an uh, area with a... Um, like area of effect hazard so he wouldn't follow me in there and when I got to the other side he didn't come back with me and um, I ended up going back to the camp alright this is what I did um, I went back to the camp and I decided to wipe out that camp of reavers that was nearby which turned out to be pretty easy now because reavers don't seem to be much of a threat anymore and on that note um, when I had to pick up Ray, for some reason he actually went back to, after I selected another follower. Uh, he went back, like, towards the, uh, I think Jackson's camp. And that's where I ended up finding him, just standing there for some reason. Uh, but on my way to get to him, I found this gas station down there with a whole bunch of Reavers as well. And, uh, you've already seen on my back one of the, uh, treasures that I uncovered there. We got the flamethrower. And uh, that's a hell of a thing. It has proven to be very powerful. Now, I was actually told that it was a very overpowered weapon because it's... Um, even though they call it a flamethrower and you would think that it's a... Uh, you know, like a damage over time weapon. And it's actually very explosive and will knock enemies off their feet. So you can kind of stun lock enemies with it. And I think it's going to be very helpful. I'm actually really surprised we could even use it. The stat requirements are surprisingly low. Uh... 31 dex and 31 strength. That is, like, crazy how low that is for how powerful this weapon is. But we also found a plasma blaster, which we are close to being able to use. We just need four more points in intelligence. So one more level up, we'll be able to use that. Um, but this uh, hunting bow has also proven to be pretty uh, substantial in terms of damage. And it's actually better than the plasma blaster, but... Uh, I think the next thing we got to do is actually up, upgrade our ranged weapon skill to get some more damage out of that. Um, but the only downside to heavy weapons like this is as long as you have it in your hand, you're slow to a walk. Um, any dodging is just a quick step. And... It also seems to con it consumes a lot of stamina to dodge. It actually seems to consume it twice. I don't know if that's a bug. Or if that's um, 
a function they added to these weapons to double the stamina drain, but it doesn't seem like dodging is... Okay, hang on. The back step doesn't do it. Okay, that is a bug. Okay, so it's only when you have the movement key to press does it drop the stamina the second time, so that's just a bug. But I don't see how dodging with this thing is going to be that useful anyway. But the important thing is that it's got... Okay, just... Those are some really shitty sound effects, I gotta say. For some reason, the ranged weapon sound effects just sound like they're from... Like some old, like, 90s FPS. Uh, the other thing is that I actually just kind of forgot about there. You cannot use a jetpack with this. So there's no floating in the sky and raining death down below. But it does have different firing modes. I don't really... Okay, that's what that does. All right. I got to conserve ammo for that, actually. But the different firing modes is... I guess that's a sustained flame. So it's not explosive. Uh, this one is the one that actually explodes when it uh, makes contact. So that that's the one that knocks people around. <coughs> Keep pressing the wrong button. And this one is like a flame swathe. So that's good for um, hitting groups of enemies. But we're probably going to have to leave that be for now. Uh, we need to find a lot more ammo for it. Yeah, we've only got 15 units of fuel, and that goes fast. So we'll stick with the uh, hunting bow for now. And our skills in melee otherwise. But we got to make our way back to the converter. <coughs> Ugh. So there is quite a lot going on. There's a lot more to the Abessin landscape than I really expected. But right now all I'm concerned with are the Separatists. I want to see what they're up to. Oh, and one of the other things I found is uh, I ended up climbing the um, the big like power lines near the camp. Like the big, um, if I what do you call it? The, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I mean, I've, I'm sure by now I've put all the clips in for all the stuff I found, but, uh, yeah, you know, for all the effort it took to climb that thing, all there was was a bag of little, like, 50 Elexit up there, so this is kind of ridiculous. What on earth is that? Good to see you. Wow, he was very expressive for a... Albedicted Separatist. What is that thing? Ice Bill. Well, let's give it a shot. So, that creature's down to me, is it? <laughs> now, they really do reuse um, enemy types a lot to a kind of annoying extent. Ow! These guys, these Separatists are actually shooting Ray. I really should, uh, top myself up here. Okay, well. Shut him down nice and quick. These things are a bit tougher than I gave them credit for. And again, I was also being very careless. I don't think these guys have the, uh... They don't have the, um, like, voice scripts that they're supposed to have, because they are very... Good to see you! Get out there and get something yourself. They are very temperamental. Okay, well, I can help myself to this stuff, at least. We'll talk later. Another time. Yeah, I don't think any of them are... ...were given the Separatist voices that they were supposed to have. Jack. Commander Jacks. Yes, indeed. If someone had told me you would turn up here, I wouldn't have believed it. I heard you were dead. They tried to execute me. I got lucky. Disgraced, but not dead. An exile. Now the great commander stands before me. How times change. So what can one Alp rebel do for another? I need your support. And why should we help you? It seems like we're on the same side, Sestak. The Alps from Zaycor tried to kill me, 
What do they think of you? The enemy of my enemy is my friend? Isn't the fact that they want us both dead enough reason for us to help each other out? No, that's not enough. Nobody has forgotten your loyalty to the hybrid. You would have done anything in his name. I should kill you here and now, in case you decided to rediscover your loyalty to him. This is an opportunity, Sestak. We should work together. The opportunity to let an enemy infiltrate our ranks? Your narrow-mindedness is the reason you won't succeed. You're thinking like Alps, but you lack their strength. Speak then, Jax. I will give you three chances to persuade us before we decide your fate. Uh, I think the most important reason is that the elves do not accept exiles to come back into their ranks, so... Unless you think this is a very elaborate plot to specifically kill Separatists, I don't know what feigning my loyalty would uh, really gain me here. Calix tried to execute me. And yet here you are alive. Hardly convincing. You are dependent on Elix. I am not. You can learn from that. You are still tied to Zekor while you take Elix. Even now, you are taking on a fight only because of your addiction. Elix weakens you. Elix strengthens us physically and mentally. But your emotions weaken you. My experience as an Alb commander can help you defeat the Alps sent after you. They know you as well as you know them. That could be a weakness. And your knowledge of their orders is weeks old. It is useless. Well, that was more than three chances, but uh, I guess we will keep going. You are fighting the Alexiders. They are my enemy, too. Someone from Zekor ordered my execution. Can't you see that our fight is aligned? Yes. Our struggle is not with the Alb people, only with their leaders. The things the Alb stood for, the true vision of our people, these things have been pushed aside since the hybrid appointed the Alexiters. And you were their most faithful servant. You saw to it that the hybrid's word stood above all. You and your brother Kallax worked together to brother. get all who stood in the hybrid's way. How can I believe you have rejected all that past loyalty? Your arguments have failed to persuade me. But I will give you the chance to prove your value where words have failed. And why would you do that? Your survival without Elix. Away from Zekor is remarkable. You have lasted far longer than I could have imagined. That makes me curious as to how you have mastered the power of emotions and navigated the world of the free people. It makes me wonder what you will do next. It's actually kind of funny that uh, he was so dismissive of that idea earlier and yet now it seems to be the sole reason that he is keeping me alive. I will find Kallax. Kallax is the greatest threat left in Zekor after the hybrid. His attempt to execute you, if that is what it was, shows he will stop at nothing to see the hybrid's will is done. That makes him the big threat to you, Separatists. That is true. They say he has taken your place, and now leads the Alb armies into battle. Then we should fight him together. Your quest for revenge. It feels like an emotional need. He wants me dead. Killing him is logical. So you deny that it is emotional. We will see. But whatever the facts, it is still too early for us to attack the Alexiters directly. And if they find you, then they will kill you. I suggest you stop the Alexiters discovering your resurrection. Your raider crashed in Edan. If the Alps there find someone who has seen you alive, then word of your survival may reach Zaykor. You should kill those Alps before they can tell anyone in Zaykor that you are still alive. You think Zekor doesn't know I'm alive? We have yet to hear any intel that indicates that they have learned of your survival. Uh, hmm. The only ones I'm aware of in Edan are the ones I already killed. It is a logical step, but eliminating Alp soldiers will not be easy. I thought your fight was with the Alexiters, not the foot soldiers of Zekor. Believe me. I don't like the thought of killing Albs who have not had the chance to think about the truth. But the troops in Edan are not only capable of reporting your presence, but ours too. 
They threaten our existence. Meaning, you want me to take care of your business? You want our help. We want you to prove you share our interests. This will achieve both our aims. Very well. Where can I find the Alps in Idan? They are monitoring the converter in Idan. Someday Zekor hopes to reclaim it. I will send the coordinates to your adjutor. I already killed him. I've killed the Alps in Idan. So I have heard. It seems you are willing to fight against Zekor. Whoa! Oh, the flashback? Cleric's attack has been pushed back. We are preparing our counterattack. Save your troops for the converters. We must secure the Elix supply. I will see that is done. Why do they do it, Jax? Can't they see these attacks are hopeless? Emotions make animals of men. Don't try to understand them. I think the time is drawing near, Calix. I think the hybrid will soon take us to the next level of evolution. The hybrid sees all. The hybrid will be served. His is the future. But then you and Alex never were the squeamish sort. Killing those few soldiers took brute force. We'll need a more strategic approach to deal with the forces in Zekor. That is true. But you have shown a measure of the skills that will be required. If you are to achieve your goals, what else do you have to report? Now, is it me or did Calix's voice in that cutscene not match the one in the intro? I'm going to play them back to back to figure that out, but it's been too long since I've seen the intro to really remember it. Jax, you failed your mission. You know our directive. There can be only one consequence for failure. I will see that is done. Why do they do it, Jax? Can't they see these attacks are hopeless? I found the thief who stole my armor. So you have recovered your equipment? No. He had sold it on. Then it seems that your ties to Zekor are being cut. You will have to use the equipment you can get from the free people. Do you have anything else to report? The changes in me are having other effects. I'm having visions. What have you seen? I'm not sure. I think they were visions from my past. What have you learned from them? Learned? Nothing. The visions have only given me more questions. That may be so for now, but do not dismiss them. It may be that they have answers to offer you. What is causing them? I don't know for sure. There are many stories of Alms who have had visions as their bodies fought against Elip's withdrawal. They say that it was something similar that gave the hybrid his first visions. But who knows? All there is around the hybrid are stories, few facts. But perhaps these visions will help you to learn who you really are, now that Zekor has lost its power over you. Perhaps. Perhaps. It is good progress. But there are still some things to take care of. Come back when you have more to report. How do you justify targeting your fellow Alps? We don't celebrate these deaths. They are sacrifices to a greater cause. You know the Alps and Zekor aren't free. They are blinded by the words of the Alexiters. Their minds are controlled by the hybrid. We separatists will see that influence broken. We will bring all Alps back to the true purpose and meaning of the directive. All Alps, including you. The Alps are about more than serving the hybrid and his need to consume all Elix. We broke with the clerics to follow logic instead of religion. To achieve the next step in evolution. The logic of this still holds. We must return to our true purpose. Hmm. And if I won't join you in your quest? Then you will die. 
The highest goal of the Directive is to deliver all Elix to Zekor. That is what they say. But what do they use that Elix for? What were we working to achieve? You know better than I what Elix can do and what risks it carries. With their synthetic implants and all the Elix they have taken, the Elixiters have lost the ability to see things clearly. The will of the hybrid is all that they know. The Alves will be free to evolve again once the Elixiters have been removed. Weakening the Alves means that the freed people will come to power. We have our agents and scouts all over Magalan. As soon as one of the other factions could endanger our purpose, we shall move to stop them. You don't have the numbers to stop either the Free People or the Elixiters. Our numbers are growing, and we have become very effective in the way we operate. In your time as commander, you proved that effective action could be taken without needing large numbers of troops. That was important to you. How are you planning to weaken the Alps? Our first step must be to shut down the converters. That is madness. You aren't strong enough to fight Zekor. And it must be us who does it. We must lead the process that stops the Alexiters. You should be a part of this, Jax. The converters must be silenced. This is the control code that will stop the Elix extraction program. It will stop a converter from operating. But the code has to be uploaded directly into the central computer of each converter. We will start with this one here. In southern Abessa. Hmm. How do I get access to the converter's central computer? You will need to access the converter's control center. That is always located in the upper area of the extraction tower. What can you tell me about the defenses there? Many of the units stationed there have been rotated out in the last few weeks. Our intel is reporting that they have been replaced by combat mechs, drones, and mutants. Fascinating. I want to get my power back. The power I had as an Alp. Of course you do. You were once the most powerful field commander in Zekor. But as the Elix has drained from your body, so is your power. You will have to find other ways to acquire strength. You cannot reverse that process now. You have changed, Jax. You must accept that change. The free people face destruction at the hands of the Alps. And they are now your only chance of survival. You must learn their skills and perfect them if you, or they, are to survive. I think your fate is now tied to theirs. Which faction do you think is most effective? They each have their own strengths and abilities. The Berserkers are powerful mages, but they use antiquated weapons and reject most technology. The Outlaws are experts with old world projectile weapons. They have fewer rules and a freer life. If it is technology you see, then that can only really be found in the hands of the clerics. But no faction will teach you their skills unless you can show that you agree with their way of life. That you are willing to join them. Where can I go to improve my weapons and armor? Try the cities of the free people, or search the ruins of the old world. Whatever you do, you will need to improve the standard of your equipment if you are going to fight the Alps and the Dan. Sounds like you could really use that armor I took from you, huh? Sorry about that. I'm feeling pretty bad about that right now. The past is done. You must look forward to the future. I came to enlist your help, not that of the free people. And I am helping you. Now you must do your part. What you mean is you don't trust me? No. Not enough to risk the survival of my people on that trust. Maybe that will change one day. But until then, you must be satisfied with this alliance as it is. Really? I mean, shit. Well, sorry. I know I disappointed both of them a little bit there, but I'm actually pretty fascinated by that. It um, seems like the Separatists do have a... Um, they kind of have some of the ideals of the Alps still in mind, but it's not... They, they feel that the Alps themselves have kind of lost their... Uh, purpose. So, um, oh, it's pretty fascinating. So, their their goal is to evolve the human race with the uses of Elex. That's that's what I'm um, picking up here. 
whereas they feel that the Albs, as a faction, have basically just become mindless drones of the hybrid. So it's the hybrid that they're actually trying to fight against. So that's an, uh, that's an interesting uh, change of um, twist in the myth, I guess. I'm curious to see how that plays out. But what I find really interesting is that they're trying to shut down the converters, not just take them over. Um, you would think that the converters would be something that they would want in their pocket because they still take Elex. They still believe in its powers. They still need it. And the converters are a way to get it. I think maybe the reason they don't like the converters is the fact that they have to... Um, that is that they're made to extract Elex from people. But it also seems like it's extracting it from the landscape. I don't really see what the qualms would be against that. But And uh, I wonder if they actually have a more um, coexisting kind of expectation with the other factions. Uh, it doesn't seem like they want to fight them. It seems like they're kind of like, you know what, they can do whatever they want as long as they stay out of our way and uh, let our evolution go unhindered. But I don't really see that being a, uh, a possibility, honestly. I think uh, anyone from the outside looking in would still see this as a uh, horrifying prospect, letting one group of humans become a incredibly powerful, emotionless, almost robotic sort of group of people. I don't know, I would not be that thrilled. So, I wonder why they haven't come up here to actually shut it down themselves. If they have the code, and the uh, whole thing seems to be unoccupied. But he's expecting us to go take care of the business for him. Oh, okay. Maybe they just haven't gotten in yet. What goods have you got? Well, he's got some stuff. No weapons, just some spells. These are worth 200 apiece. 300 apiece for those. I don't know. I think I'll manage without him. Good to see you. Well, there's a lot of spells here to pick up, at least. I wonder if, uh... If it was ever Piranobite's plans, I, I'm gonna assume not, but if it was ever their plans to make the Separatists like a joinable faction, I get the feeling that's not the case because they already had three, and three seems to be the magic number as far as they're concerned. Yeah, we're getting quite a few spells back now, so. Alright, well, ka -choo. We definitely made something happen. Uh, I seem to drop some kind of force field up here. So let's see if there's anything interesting in there. Get out of the damn way, Ray. I don't know why these doors don't work. It's like they're just too lazy to actually program... A, in, ...like a way to open those doors or any... ...like hallway between them. There's a lot of stuff here. Got frag rockets. Some more force push spells. Golden Whisper. I wonder why the Elex drinks are red when Elex itself is blue. Mana, I could understand, like, changing color just through the process, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky. Let's head back 
down. Let them know what we've done here. I don't know if we need to do this for the one in Idan because that one is already, um, it seems to have been deactivated. Yellow. Come on, I saw something, thank you. It would be nice to get in there. I don't know what the code is for that thing with Jig. It said, actually, did it say locked or... I don't know if you need to hack it. That didn't work. Oh, hey, we can't hack. Okay, I don't really remember what. I think yellow means it's in the code, but I put it in the wrong place. Red, I don't think it's in the code at all. And no, uh, that's not right. Hey. I got the six right. So we'll do eight. No, 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 can't be. First one needs to be five. Do seven and eight. Behold! Victory is mine. Got a jam stone. Really wasn't a whole lot in here after all, was there? Alright, well, let's continue our descent. It seems like it locks you into the elevator. Because uh, I, I tried to see if I could jump over it, but it wouldn't let me. struck against the hybrid whatever he needs the elix for you just cut off one of his major supplies i would expect zacor is already planning a response we will prepare for the ice palace's attack what about the other converters they are your business you know how to deactivate them and that each one shut down will weaken zacor we will prepare to hold their forces when they retaliate i would say that ending the flow of elix into zacor would be strategically beneficial. But you must decide that for yourself. That is good progress. But there are still some things to take care of. Come back when you have more to report. Okay, I'm getting it. I think that these converters actually send Elex straight to Zacor. It's not like it houses it locally. Everything that gets extracted is funneled directly to the Ice Palace. Yeah, really bad feeling about this place. Eh, it's been fine so far. So, I wonder if all the uh, environmental hazards from the ice around here have actually gone away now. Oh, uh, it's a rat boar. <laughs> Shit. That was a bad idea. Well, they're not as hard as uh, game suggests that they are. I'm not sure why they're still, like, skull enemies. Yeah, just eat it. Well, there's a cave over there. Okay, now it does seem... Still be quite frosty. Let's see what they. Oh, okay. This would have been good to find earlier. Would have liked it if it was a bit more out in the open. So, what are you hiding here? 
It's like some kind of artillery piece. Or a heavy machine gun or something. I told you speak to Sestak. He's at our headquarters in the converter in South Abessa. I already did. I wanted to talk to you. Good to see you. Strong mental energy reserve. I don't need anything to. Oh, ah, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. That is some frosty business. Alright, well, I guess we're done here for now. Let's check out the one in Edan. Like I said, that one wasn't functional, so I don't think we need to shut it down. I wonder if this flamethrower will actually enable us to take on the uh, fighting colossi. People thrown in the converters alive to extract the elix from them. However hard people say the duke is, he doesn't come close to that. Yeah, pretty nasty people down here, that's for sure. Okay, that Colossus is still after me. And knows I'm here. Now, I'm wondering... What was I wondering? I forgot what I was wondering. I don't think any monsters would respawn up here. It does seem like basic... Uh, like, animals will actually respawn in areas. Hmm. These corpses ain't going away. I wonder if we can actually sneak into the... the one in Tavar, since, uh, I was able to get... I was able to climb up, get to the top, but... I didn't really dare to try and stroll inside. Seemed pretty dangerous. Yeah, that, that Colossus is not calling quits. Actually, I forgot the computer's down here. Yeah, there's no use in this thing. So this one's already dead. Well, maybe we can actually take on the one in Tavar. Because the elves have not been quite as tough lately. <coughs> or enemies in general. I think we're actually able to stand a chance now. Actually, I forgot we have killed these guys, but there's quite a few of them in here. So maybe we need to bring out the heavy artillery. Can't really see what I'm looking at down here, though. Are there... Okay, there they are. No, they're still really tough. Yeah, that I'll didn't do shit. And yeah. Alright, so that's a big no. Interesting how... Some definitely seem tougher than the others. I wonder... Possible get up there? I guess it is. We never really looked at this, uh... Excuse me, brick building much, did we? I think I was scared off by the monstrosities around it. Yeah, terror birds. Alright, this is some kind of shit. I'll take care of this. Of course, the rot has got to get involved, too, for no good reason. Don't know what allegiance you have to that stupid bird. And there's another thing. For fuck's sake. Kill it! Yeah! 
Why is there so much crap? God, I can't even back off without hitting something else. What's that over there? Oh, can we can we actually kill this thing, Desert Devil? Doesn't seem too bad. That creature's down to me, is it? Yeah, it's just got the raptor move set. Also, it doesn't seem any tougher than a normal raptor. Definitely not as hard as a Skix. Yeah, that's how you do it. Alright, so those aren't too bad. I don't think I checked out in that area there. Looks... Cool. Something might be useful in there. Why is there... This one spot is just a source of all that, like, dust. Okay. Got some creatures. Ow! Not bad. So what is hidden away in here? Uh, lots of enemies it seems. I don't know what kind. Settle down there, Ray. We shouldn't stay here too long. Wow, that was quite an echo on your voice there, though. Okay. Something snarly. Let's finish this guy. Oh. I'll do it. Ay, ay, ay. Can you get the fuck out of here? Okay, so it's some it seems like there are NPCs in there. Some kind of renegade outlaws, perhaps? <laughs> An ironic concept. Oi! You wanna start some shit? I guess none of them are in here. It's a hell of a fortified location, though. Except once again, nobody seems to understand the value... the defensive value of a door. These look like bombs. It's like some C4 detonator... top of that. But it does not explode. Alright, here we got some Reavers. Ow! Get out of here, you bugger! Fuck's sake! Doomed! Okay, I think I... Fuck! Ah! I'm doomed. Heave! Alright. Ray, have fun. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck? Alright. You think you're hot shit? What the fuck? Bah! Okay, not such a great idea after all. Whoop! Ah, shit. What the fuck? Fuck! Asshole ruined it. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's shooting me with the bleedy bolts. Hit the bastard. Fuck. Can you stop shooting me? Ow. Crying out loud, that was bad. But, well, we are victorious. Alright. I think uh, we'll end up exploring this location next episode because we're running at the end of this one. I got food in the oven that I gotta pull out before it burns. So, ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you kindly for watching. We'll uh, dispense with these reavers in here next time. But until then, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, subscribe to my stream archive, as usual. Links in the description below. We will see you all next time.